Hey folks, welcome back to the channel. I was messing around today with this guitar I just bought. This is an 83 Stratocaster. And 83 is like the last of the CBS era. And it's like right before they changed over. It's a sort of an independent company. And I think this has some weird features on it that are just kind of unique to it that just intrigued me really. Like look at this bridge. This is a hardtail bridge, but it's got that sort of I don't know, it's a it's a modified version of the saddle. Um, it's not a stamp steel saddle at all. It's some kind of a molded saddle. It's also got the uh, the jack in a one of the positions for the tone control. And it doesn't have that little football style jack here in the back. And I don't know, I mean, it just it's just kind of a cool thing. I mean, I think these are probably some of the least desirable American strats that are out there. But... I don't know, this one just intrigued me. So let's take a look and see what's inside. I already checked out the neck. Um, that's one of the things that really freaks me out about any American Fender with the Biflex truss rod is the possibility of that nut being stripped or not working. So I already checked that. I've got a perfect 12 thousandths of neck relief. I was able to tighten the truss rod just a bit. The neck seems to function fine. The frets feel really good. There's nothing really weird going on in here and there's no high frets. So I've done all the things that I want to do with the strings on it so the strings are ready to come off. And now let's start there. All right, well, the strings are out of the way and I'm ready to get in here under the pick guard. I've noticed a couple of things already off the bat. There's not a screw in this hole in the pick guard and there's not a hole in the body under that hole in the pit guard. So I already know that some of this stuff is probably not original. I think that I'm questioning the pickups. I think the pit guard is probably not. And I think the volume and tone knobs are probably not. And the reason is because they have these little dots under the numbers. And I've only seen that on import guitars. And they also just, I don't know, they look a little small. The hat looks a little small. So I think these are wrong. I think this pick guard's wrong, but let's see about these pickups. Okay, let's see what's under here. All right, well, huh. So these pickups look right to me. They look, they're definitely American. You know, they're Alnico pickups with a plastic bobbin. That's something they started doing in the 80s. I'm not sure if they did it in 83 or not, but I think those are correct. I'll have to take a reading on them and look around to be sure. Not, honestly, nothing looks to have been re-soldered in here. So I think what must have gone on here is someone changed out the pick guard for some reason. But the other weird thing I'm seeing is I'm not sure that connection there is right. That one may have been added to. It's really hard to say. All the wire is the correct gauge, but there's definitely a, a ground point here that hasn't been used. I mean, the knobs don't fit very well. Other than that, I don't think anything has been resoldered here. Fender must have been using some really crappy pots. They, these don't look very good to me, and they don't feel very good either. But they must have been using some really crappy pots in the very end of the CBS run, but they used a really nice switch. That's a made in the USA CRL switch. It needs a lot of cleaning, but it's a good switch. And, yeah, I don't know. There's a wax pencil mark here on the pick guard. This may be a Fender pick guard. It may even be a Fender American pick guard, but it's not a 1983 Strat pick guard. And the reason I can tell is there's definitely a screw hole here that hasn't been used, and this screw hole here is in a much different location. It's, it should be about here and it's it's here that's one of the problems with buying these weird oddball guitars like this i don't know if i'm going to be able to find a pick guard to replace this one that is original uh, but if i did find that everything else looks untouched with one possible exception and it's this ground and this ground here that's not that's not attached to anything okay well i'm going to do a little bit more investigation and we'll come back to this Okay, well, I've done a little bit of research on this. Long story short, the pickups look original to me. The pots look original. Even the cap looks original. Nice switchcraft jack, that's original. The CRL switch, I you know, it's, it's debatable. I've seen a couple of different types on 83 strats, 
and this is obviously one that they would have been using at that time and the age on it looks correct and it does not look like any of this wiring has been touched and it's a very good job so I think that's original this ground wire going to this screw lug here is actually original I've seen that on other 83 strats I just don't know about this other ground here I think that should have had something on it but I can't see anywhere where they would have left that off so I'm just wondering if maybe it's only used on the tremolo models and that's a ground for the bridge or something like that I think somebody just changed out the pit guard and I don't know why but they kept all the other hardware and everything else it's technically missing two screws because I didn't get that one and I didn't get the one that goes in the center hole in between these two pickups but I've got all the other screws and the it's hard to explain but I mean you can really tell when a solder joint looks old and you can also tell when the flux has been disturbed so and I don't see anything wrong with anything in here so I don't know I guess uh, I'm gonna try to save these pots in this switch but I'm probably gonna try to replace this pick guard with something else because it's scratched and damaged these pickup covers do not look original to me this switch tip was probably not black originally and these knobs are definitely not the original knobs let's take the neck off next and see what that looks like so I don't know what kind of finish this is it seems to be some kind of a poly though honestly it does not feel like lacquer to me and I can see some ridges in it that if they were lacquer they probably would have cracked and this is not cracked at all so I'm thinking this is a pretty thick poly finish I'm gonna go ahead and take this off now it does have micro tilt it is an American Strat after all so all right well in here it says October 19th 1983 so that's nice to see and I can see some stamps in here but I can't read them no reason to believe this body's not original though I mean it's definitely an 83 strat body because there's no jack provision there's no tremolo cut out it's a top loader bridge I mean it's just there's all kinds of things in here that are, make it obviously an 83 body I'll see if I can dig in and see what this says um, and like I said I'm gonna look around for some plastics and maybe replace this pick guard and some of these black parts I don't know we'll, we'll see where it goes but I'm I'm definitely gonna do a little bit of replacements before I put it back together Well, while I'm waiting on the body uh, and some of my research to be finished to see if I can get a new pick guard or not I'm gonna do a little cleanup on the frets here but when you let a guitar sit for quite a lot of time without being played sometimes some of the materials and the alloy from the fret material can kind of start to tarnish in a lot of cases they turn green and so I want to get the greenness off these last frets from about 15 on up here and just get some of the grime out from between the frets themselves everything feels really nice and there's no no frets that really need to be dressed or anything there's really not much wear at all so I think just hitting these things with some semi-chrome will uh, bring bring the shine back and then I'll be done now to do that I'm gonna have to first mask off the frets I don't always do that especially on a maple board that's already got a, a glossy finish but there are some areas where the finish is kind of weak and if some of my chrome polish were to get down into like a finish area like that it would stain it forever so I'm gonna go ahead and tape this thing up and then we can start on the polishing so the plan is to use a little bit of steel wool and run it across these frets just quickly to get the major tarnish off of them and then to come back with some semi chrome polish on a little bitty rag and just scrub each one of them down and then after I'm done with that they should be nice and shiny alright well here's the results they're much shinier now there is a little bit of fret wear now you can see in the top ones but that's all to be expected in that sort of cowboy cord area everything else looks really shiny and I think this thing is really in pretty good shape I don't think those frets need to be addressed well I was just 
tightening down my neck screws. So I'm putting the neck back on the body, but uh, the neck is in much better shape now that it's polished. But the other thing I did was I finished my research on the pit guard, and then I did a thing, which was I actually made a pit guard to fit this guitar. And when I say I made it, I'll show you a still picture of what I actually started with, which was a pit guard that did not have a route for it it basically just had like the screws at the corners and then it had these two pickups and the switch uh, mount and that that was it that was ideal for me because this is not a standard screw location and this is not a standard screw location so basically i had to take this standard strat pit guard that was on it and you know fit it up i created a routing template that I basically route, fit on top of the other pit guard, routed that out, then drilled the pots and the jack uh, area. Then I drilled the side screws and I had to make a tape template of where this screw was on the body and where this screw was on the body in relation to the two screws next to these new holes. That way I could locate where they were supposed to be without having to re-drill the body. It turned out really well. Other than the fact that these two screws here look newer than the rest of them, and maybe I can actually find some older ones, but other than that fact, you really can't tell what I did. There is one indication of what I did, though, and that's that I'm not sure any 84 strats came with a black pit guard, at least not black on black, so I don't know. I mean, it's it's not original. It's as close as I'm going to get, and it's not like pit guards for these things are easy to find and 12 bucks is a lot easier than 200 bucks or whatever the asking price is for an original 84 pit guard. This one works and way better solution than spending a ton of money and there's some black hardware on this like the strap buttons so having a little bit of black on black here and some black on the ends it all ties together. I didn't have to buy a new switch tip, I didn't have to buy new pickup covers. This is the way, this is the best way it could all work out. So anyway, long story short, good deal. Now I've got to put some strings on it and do a full setup. And uh, that's going to be almost an episode in and of itself. But we'll see if we can squeeze it into this one. All right, well, just to try to keep this video a little bit shorter, I went ahead and put strings on here. If you haven't seen me string a guitar before, this is in plenty of my videos. And honestly, I probably should do a video just on a string change. I'll look for that in my quick tips, and if it's not there, I'll do that. I also set pickup height. I know I have a video out there that's a quick tip video on pickup height. I just set this to 464 across the board. The reason for that is I discovered this neck is actually a weirdo 12 inch radius neck. And I think that's an 83, 84 thing. And it might be on a couple different fenders from what I'm reading, but it's, it's actually kind of strange for a Strat and it happens to be true on this one. So Fender says if it's a 12 inch radius, your pickup height should be 4 64ths. Next, I've got to do action and I've got to do intonation. Action. I'm going to set it to uh, 4 64ths. It, it's probably close, to be honest. But 4 64ths at the 17th fret. Okay, well, I'm in good shape on most of the unwound strings, but I've got a little bit of height adjustment to do on this high E string and a little bit on the wound strings. I think this one may have just jumped out of its slot. The interesting thing about this hardtail bridge is it's got two different slots in the bridge for each saddle. One slot is very, very thin and the screw comes to a point. The other slot is wide and the screw has a flat end on the bottom of it. One that's got a point that's riding in that really thin slot is meant to locate the saddle so it doesn't move left or right. And the other one is just for height support. So I think that's kind of a cool design. I, I wish they'd kept that in some ways, but uh, you know what? People didn't like this Strat, so I'm not surprised. The one thing I will say about this Strat, it doesn't sound like any other Strat that I've played before. The pickups are actually a little bit hot in it, and they shouldn't be. I don't know what's going on with that. That could be the pickup closeness to the string. All right, this thing's coming down now. 
like every other action adjustment I've ever said, try to keep your saddle level. And tune her up. And we'll check all the frets from 12 on up. All right, no rattles, so I'm leaving it there. Uh, let's just check the rest of these. All right, this one can come down just a smidge. Yeah, they're all pretty good. Action's good. Intonation would be next. So let's just check this E string here, for example. We're going to tune the harmonic first. And then check the fretted note. That one's a little bit sharp. When we're sharp, it means we need to lengthen the string. On a fender, that means tighten the screw. I actually knew that was going to be the case on this string because I measured it out. This string is almost always exactly what the scale length is. So from the nut to the saddle on this high E string should be 25 and a half, and it was a little bit short. Alright, now it's on the money. So what you're comparing again is the harmonic to the fretted note. So that, that one's dead on. So the way this normally plays out, you'll do that on every string. The saddles will fall back for about three saddles worth. Then this one will be a little bit ahead of that one usually, and then these usually fall back. I'll test that theory out. I don't know if you remember what these looked like before. Maybe you can rewind the video, but they were way out of whack. So um, this is something I knew that needed to be addressed all along. Well, that's it for this old strat. I've got the action set up, the intonation is right, the E strings are a little weird, but that's cool. Every Strat's a little bit different, every guitar is a little bit different. I've got uh, the perfect amount of neck relief in here, I measured that. I've got the pickup height set correctly. There's really no other specs that I need to go through on this one. Everything seems to work, the tone controls work, the volume controls work. It does sound unlike any other Strat, like I said, but... Uh, I don't know. I guess that's to be expected. I think the weirdest thing about it is just that the the bridge pickup ha actually has a tone control on it. So that's not something you get in a normal Strat. And uh, other than that, I mean, it's just kind of. opinion the way it sounds to me is the the middle pickup is much less bell like than I'm no, than I'm used to hearing and this neck pickup is a little bit more muted and I don't know if that's just the pickups themselves or if that's the design of this guitar but the the bridge pickup seems to have that bite and twang that you're used to but the difference being you can take that totally out with that tone control and the tone control affects all three pickups the same way and they're all running through that too, which I guess to some degree the fact that the bridge pickup is even running through a tone pot is different than a normal Strat and probably changes the tone a little bit. But it's a cool guitar and, uh, you know, I'll be honest, I'm going to have a hard time selling it if I sell it. So I'm going to keep this one. Uh, I kind of like 80s guitars and I kind of like weird 80s guitars and this thing is definitely weird. Thanks for hanging out. I appreciate you guys liking and commenting on my videos. I really appreciate you subscribing to my channel. And don't forget, you can share my channel with your friends. It's at Hacks Guitar Hobby. That's my handle on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.